hello, hello. Hello. Stream is starting. Um, I'm a little, uh, nervous to start my stream just now. Um, just because right before I, uh, went to start stream, uh, my computer's fan started going insane. Um, I, okay. Um, yeah, my, uh, the fan started going, you know, rocket mode, and uh, I don't know why. I just opened Spotify and started playing stuff, and then started the background music, and it decided to go bonkers. Um, yeah, so, anyway, kind of just sorry, looking over to see my model. I tried to fix the blinking. Um, I don't know if it is fixed or not, but, you know, it's uh, something anyway. Um, yeah, because there's the blink and then there's the look down threshold, um, that they have in VC Face, and, uh, yeah, it, it's hard to figure out the exact, because it's hard with, when you're trying to fix blinking, because you can't, you can't tell while you're actually, like, um, you know, when you're actually in the settings, because you're busy blinking. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, is my model even blinking? And yes, it is. Um... I just don't know, because I'm not currently, you know, my eyes are closed when I'm blinking. I think most people blink with their eyes closed, right? <laughs> um, hmm. Let's see. What else before we start stream? Oh yeah, um, I was kind of surprised. I, I, um, okay, so, uh, I... Hmm. Yeah, usually, so, like, this, um, it's not like it's, it's like, really noisy, but, um, uh, my neighbor's dog was barking a bit ago, which is kind of unusual, because I've only, and I'm actually kind of surprised, I don't know what the deal is with this dog, um, is that, uh, um, they don't, like, I think the only time I heard the dog bark on like a semi-regular basis was when I moved in and I would uh um I usually take the stairs but when I was moving in I took the elevator and um to get to my apartment from the elevator I had to walk in front of my neighbor's apartment and the dog would always run up and bark every time I passed by it was awful and embarrassing and I hated it um, and I felt so annoying, but, uh, then it kind of stopped doing that. Like, I didn't do that anymore. Maybe it got used to me. I don't know. Don't really understand. But, um, but then it stopped barking. But it was barking again today, um, and I'm like, is the dog... It's like, they really, it seemed to really enjoy barking. And then, and then it didn't for a long time, and I was really surprised that it just stopped like that. Um... But then I was barking again, and I'm like, I don't understand. Is it a barking dog or not? Is it quiet or not? Who knows? Um, hmm. And, um, but one thing that gets me is, is like, I don't think we're supposed to have pets. Like, the, um, property manager has a dog, and, uh, other people have, like, the, my neighbors have a dog. Um, I think some other neighbors have a dog, I believe. Um, and, uh, like, someone else who lives here, I don't, I don't know exactly who, but they have a dog, and then I think someone has a cat, but I have seen, I saw at least one cat running around, like, I don't know if they're a stray or just, like, an outdoor cat, but I saw them running around, and, um, but I don't know if the cat I've been hearing is that cat or someone's cat. It sounds like it might be someone's cat, actually. So that means people have cats too. I don't know if it's the people next door or people like, um, maybe I'm thinking maybe the people below me, um, but someone has a cat because I hear it meowing in the morning. <laughs> um, and it's like, wow, for a building that's not supposed to have pets, they all have pets. A lot of people have pets. And I am like, like maybe I want a pet, you know? Like, maybe I want to get a cat, you know? 
Uh, but I can't, because it says in my lease that I'm not allowed to have a pet, but everyone here has pets. It's like, why? Why? I have a theory that I don't think is right, and I don't think I can share it on stream, but, um, but yeah, I think there's a secret, secret, dark, dark reason why, uh, why I can't have pets. Mm-hmm. That's what I suspect. Um, hmm. Is there a truck outside? There's like a little bonking going around. Um. Hmm. Um, let's see. Anyway, we're playing Life is Strange today. Um, and, uh. That's fun. More and more of that game. I don't know. Okay, so. I'd love to, you know, get a good ways in, you know, into it tonight. But I don't know how long I can stream for. Um, because it is so hot in LA. And by so hot, I mean like it's in the 90s. But, um, and in like, LA, like if you look at the temperature for LA, it's 90s. And then in the valley, it's, I think it's 100s today. Um, so, you know, it's really, really hot here. Um, and I, my old, last apartment, I had... I mean, I have air conditioning here too, but I have like a um, wall unit, um, not central air conditioning, um, like I had in my last apartment. And the central air in my last apartment was much quieter. The air conditioning here is much louder. And um, it uh, has also the annoying side effect of, um, I don't know, just, I don't want to say that. Oops, that's not what I meant. What am I trying to communicate here? <laughs> <laughs> um it's louder and like yeah like i said it has issues with the uh, picking it well okay one day the mic was picking up i think the air conditioning i don't know what else it could have been picking up i have pretty good like lim like i have a few filters on it right for like limiters and um uh noise cancellation and stuff like noise suppression and stuff like that so I was kind of surprised that it picked up the air conditioner, but I was like, okay, fine. Um, and, uh, but then the other day I had the air conditioner on, um, and I was like, okay, I'll turn it off right before stream. But, uh, as I was getting stuff set up and still had the AC on, the microphone wasn't picking it up. So I was kind of confused what was going on. Um, like, why does it sometimes pick up the AC and sometimes not? That's what confuses me a little bit but um you know whatever um i'll just keep it off just in case because i i do think my audio quality has been better with it off so whether or not it's um picking up in the audio mixer it's possible that um uh the air conditioner like the other day when it wasn't being picked up um it might have not been enough to uh, like register by itself, but it might hurt the quality of my voice recording when the mic is recording my voice, right? Because I think it has to do with uh, probably the limiter. I assume, um, like you know, it'll be like, oh, okay, this is a loud enough volume. Her voice is loud enough. We'll pick it up. Um, and then as it does that, it's opening like you know the floodgates to the uh, um. To the microphone, you know. People doing. Um but anyway. Um mm. uh lots of noise around today, and I don't know why. But hopefully that won't pick up either. I'm assuming not, because it's pretty muffled. Um hmm. I was going to say something else. Uh, oh, yeah. Anyway, it gets really hot in here if I have to have my AC off, is the thing. Because my new setup is um, uh, stuffier. I don't know how else to kind of describe it. It's a little, a little more um, of an enclosed space, I guess, compared to well, when I originally started streaming. I was just on my coffee table in the middle of my living room. Uh, 
And then I moved to the desk, which was still not so bad. But this is um, because of like where it was at. But in my new apartment here, the, it's a little bit more enclosed. So um, that means <laughs> my computer gets a little bit hotter. Also, the um, sound is not as good and my computer gets hotter. So it's like a lose-lose situation. <laughs> it's two bad things, you see. Two bad things. I see no positives for this. I mean, I guess maybe if I could get the right sort of, um, like, right sort of, sort of like noise cancellation, soundproofing situation set up, I'd probably be better than any of the setups I've used, but probably not something that, uh, I think I'm going to be able to get because, well, on the one hand, it's very useful, but on the other hand, it doesn't. It's not going to look nice, and I want to want to balance it out a little bit. I, I, yeah. Anyway, um, so yeah, so my like, I turned my AC off like right before stream, and it's already kind of feeling really hot in here. It's so hot in LA today. I thought I would cool it down enough before that. I should have cooled it down extra. I should have made it so cold. I should have turned the AC down to like 65 or something like that. Um, I just, I only turned down to 70, which I think that was my mistake. I think that was my mistake. So anyway, maybe we should play the game <laughs> so that we can make sure that I, I can get some of the ways into it. Uh, before I have to end stream. I'm hoping to at least go until 7, maybe. That's like a little under 2 hours. Um, is kind of my goal. At least that far. At least that far. Again, I'm not sure that I can. Because, um... Simply... Simply because, um... Because I'm not sure that... I, th I, think, it, I think it'll get hot <laughs> really fast. I think it'll get hot really fast, but I think the heat wave is supposed to die down. Um, I think tomorrow is actually going to be the worst of it, unfortunately. Um, but I think it's supposed to be better by Saturday, baby, hopefully. Um, so yeah, but I think I think Sunday should be. I don't know. At least at least earlier this week, Friday, like at like Sunday, Monday this week, Friday was supposed to be the bad day. But actually, let's look it up. Um, LA weather. Um, ooh, actually, Sunday's supposed to be the worst day. Lovely. Oh gosh, that's... no. Did it, is this? I wonder if. Yeah, this is like current temperature, ninety-five degrees. High of hundred and one today. Oh my god. Hundred and one tomorrow. Ninety-nine on Saturday. Hundred and three on Sunday. Is this the valley? Or is this like... This says it should be just LA. There's no way. Oh my god. It's too hot. It's too hot. I would show you the screen, but I don't have a good... It's not easy for me to show you right now. But yeah, so Sunday's gonna be 103. So it's gonna be a million degrees for forever, basically. So all weekend, I'm probably gonna have issues. <laughs> Um, wonderful, wonderful. I'm, like, tempted, I'm very tempted to just turn my AC on and be, like, voice, voice quality? Mic microphone quality? What's that? Audio quality? Not here. Don't know her. Never met her. Um. Oh, gosh. It's too hot. That's too hot. It's bad. Not good. Not good. I don't like it. Um, okay. <laughs> Enough of that depressingness. Let's let's get started with the game. Um Okay, I don't care about that email. Um Alright, let's get rid of Spotify and oh I don't even have my Steam pulled up. Rookie mistake. Uh, Life is Strange. Mm -hmm. Ugh, and I'm probably going to get so overheated drinking hot tea. But like I was saying last time, it's so helpful for my voice. But 
Um, so just hot out of my life. Computer fan is driving me crazy. It's so noisy. So noisy. Hi, Knuckle. My computer is just way too, way too loud. Okay. Let's switch scenes. Maybe there we go. Yep. Wonderful. Okay. Uh, options, settings, um, video settings, advanced. Do you be like that sometimes? Yeah. It's, um, we're having a heat wave here in LA at the moment. Um, it's like in the 90s or maybe above 100 today. Hey, Kama, welcome. Uh, so it's really kind of hot. Um, and, uh, um, I pretty sure my AC hurts my audio quality. So, um, I have to have my AC off when I'm streaming, which is unfortunate because my computer gets hot when I'm streaming. And here I am, like a loser, turning my AC off. And so my computer's already struggling, Listen, not dying with the heat. When I went through well, David's I have AC, laptop, and like, I it found gets hot pictures sometimes. of Rachel and Frank. And we watched this mm. at the end of last stream. More than friends. <laughs> right, no this way, Max. She was just posing to tease um, Frank. But yeah, it is it is pretty me, hot out. You just kind of avoid being outside me. whenever you can. What's that could approve. Um, Frank has Rachel's bracelet. It's supposed to be like that until what like next Monday. Motherfucker better not have anything for his sake. Anyway, we're doing Frank. I, like I said, I like Frank as a character. Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted, he sometimes forgets to lock it. I don't really know why. I don't remember a whole lot, but I just thought he was a good character. I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Shipples. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner. Maybe it's just Frank because the last I have his money, bit but he needs to come where with you. Um, you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see the, uh, you. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV and then the you rewind sneaking into the pool the and stuff. Like for some reason uh, that was where like the game kind of Chloe, the characters really clicked this. for me. I'll be right back. And um, don't let my epic the first time I played through. I'll try and, to scrounge up a Scooby uh, snack and distract his mangy mutt. I think like because this is coming right what after that, maybe that's why I appreciate Frank's his character. Uh, I appreciate it that you uh, don't care quite so much about sound quality, but I I do. I'm a perfectionist, <laughs> so. I want the sound quality to be as good as possible. It's already not great, so. Oh. Let's see what we got. Oh, we gotta write. I forgot we gotta read, too, to catch up on the last time. Uh, what did he say? Um, uh, sorry, this one. Maxine, pop here. I'm sorry I haven't gotten in touch sooner. I know your mom is very proud of you for saving that girl, as am I. We have no doubt that... We have no doubt sending you to Blackwell was the best thing you ever demanded we do. Smiley face. Oh, that's sweet. It makes us so proud to read about you in the news and see actual video of you walking down from the roof with that girl. And if you want to come home, come back home now to relax and maybe go to a high school around here, the door is wide open. Love, Pop. <laughs> Aw, that's cute. Thanks, Pop. It's been a whirlwind here. I'm not ready to come home yet. Talk later. Max OXO. She already made that joke. She already made that joke with someone else. I forget who. who. Who was it that she... It wasn't Kate, was it? No, okay. I was like, that'd be a weird thing for her to say Kate. Uh, oh, it was probably with Chloe. No, it wouldn't have No, was that was it her mom? No. Who did she say that to? Oops, I keep trying to scroll. Um, It wasn't Warren, was it? it does not feel like a... Like she would ever say XOXO in any capacity to warren um taylor oh it was taylor okay interesting whirlwind like a tornado <laughs> um it was a popular girl yeah um i'm kind of surprised i mean it makes sense that she would say that to i mean because it sounds like something like taylor would say but i'm kind of surprised she's uh 
trying to be that friendly with Taylor. All right. Um, let's continue with our journal here. Uh, I think we read this page last time and then we were still doing this one. Okay. So <laughs> yes, there's something incredibly awesome about breaking into your own school at the witching hour. Although Chloe was technically right, how can we break in with a key? Never mind, it was the stolen key from the school's head of security. Anyway, the Black Hole Ninjas strike again. So cool to stalk the halls when it's dark and quiet. Even with so many terrible things happening all around us, it felt like Chloe and I were walking towards the center of a great cosmic mystery, something bigger than any of us. But we kind of suck as master spies since we didn't have a key for the principal's office. No worries with my rewind power at hand. And of course, Dr. Warren Graham. He came through with a bitchin' mini-bomb made of sodium what-the-fuck-ever. I probably learned more putting those ingredients together than the entire semester so far. I highly doubt it if you think it's made of sodium what-the-fuck-ever. Just saying, I really don't think you learned much. <laughs> Sorry, Mrs. Grant. Warren is the star student here. He tries so hard to help. Maybe too much, but what's wrong with that these days? I'm so grateful he's on my team. <laughs> Talk about being in the Sancto Sanctorum. Thanks, Latin class, I barely passed. Of Blackwell. I did feel freaking weird about being in the principal's office after midnight, going through his files and laptop with Chloe. She was way too into it. Technically, we could be arrested and thrown in jail. Yikes. I just pretended that we were on a very special episode of the Wizards of Waverly Place. You know, just a couple of wacky Sherlocks investigating the school for a good cause. Yeah, that helped. Wow, weird... Weird Wizards of Waverly Place mention, <laughs> actually. Kind of weird. Kind of weird. I guess it was popular at the time, but... <laughs> it it doesn't feel like it has the timeless quality of a lot of the other references <laughs> that they make. While we didn't find the proof, we... While we didn't find the proof... We found Nathan's file had a weird drawing in it that just said Rachel in the dark room over and over. So that's a major clue that Nathan is involved in this somehow. Or he's just insane. But his note also referenced David M, which means that we absolutely have to find a way into David's, David's secret bunker files. For a good cause. But Chloe just can't help herself, and she actually wanted to take five grand in cash marked Handicap Fund. Because that's gotta be legit, am I right? I can't think of a faster route to karma hell, but it would have paid off Chloe's debt to Frank. I stopped her, but it kind of bothers me that Chloe can be so selfish like that. I'm not going to let anything happen to her, but I just can't let her do anything she wants. Mad Max? More like Mommy Max. That reminds me of that YouTuber. <laughs> um... It was cancelled a little while ago, I guess. Cancelled? I don't know. Mama Max, right? That's... Flashbacks to that. I actually just saw um, some Ordinary Gamers made another video about Mama Max again, I think, recently. So I can't believe that drama's still going on. Um, despite all the usual breaking in and blowing up office hijinks, Chloe decided what we needed more than anything was to take a night swim in the otter's lair. I was so giddy and rebellious that I was like, oh yes, we shall swim. We didn't completely skinny dip, but close enough to get in big trouble no matter what. I don't think it matters what you were dressed in. <laughs> I think the problem was being in the pool at night. Like, mostly. I don't know why we were so careless after being so careful. When were you careful? <laughs> Question. I love that Chloe brings out the just-don't-give-a-fuck side of me. Even if that hasn't always served her well, she deserves a moment of not giving a shit. Me too. Just two friends goofing around in the pool. Just two friends. <laughs> I fear those youthful shenanigans might soon be a thing of our past. God, I'm starting to sound like one of the teachers at Blackwell. Chloe and I had a nice chat about our lives since I left. We talked about dumb boys and girls and why they're trouble. Especially for me. I feel like a groupie when I talk to Chloe about our life experience. She has me so beat. I take pictures, she takes action. Speaking of action, we had to seriously bounce when security showed up. Duh. How quiet could we be in the swimming pool? Plus, after leaving a trail of our Blackwell handiwork. 
It was so intense and exciting to get past the security guards. They had serious spotlight power, so I wasn't exactly easy to stealth so it wasn't exactly easy to stealth our way past, especially as we had to bail on Chloe's junker. But like I said, intense and exciting. Hella like Chloe Price. Even though my body smelled like I had been doused in chlorine, it was so nice to crash in Chloe's room for the first time in five years and wake up next to her like our old sleepovers. For some reason, it reminded me of the time we were going to TP one of the neighbor's houses. And we even snuck out but got chicken and ran back home, laughing all the way. I remember waking up the next day and Joyce was making one of her delish breakfasts downstairs. And Chloe smiled at me like we were in the most secret club in the world, or at least Arcadia Bay. We were pirates, damn it. After our academic espionage last night, I felt the same way. It's just that now the stakes are so much higher and much more dangerous. How did she do that coloring on the drawing of her and Chloe? Hmm. Um. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what this is. Um, and I don't know why she gave herself gray. I don't, yeah, I don't really know what that is about. But. Um. Drip water? Why would she have that? Oh, I think it's just watercolors. Um, I think she's used it before. Uh, this looks like markers. Yeah, she's used it before, actually, over here for Chloe. Hmm, this, this looks something like, similar. Hmm. Wait. Oh, it looks like markers again. Hmm. Markers, probably. Thinner markers, though. Whatever this is. <laughs> uh, this is some watercolors. And whatever this is. Uh, I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> Let's see. Markers? Or pens? There. She's an artiste. <laughs> A lot of smudges do look like watercolor, yeah. I don't know what they're, like, why the... This looks like a coffee stain. <laughs> I don't know about this. This doesn't even look like watercolor. Like, this part could be, but this is, like, not. I don't know why. Coffee stain. I don't know. Actually, this could be watercolor. It just wasn't let... Like, it's very, um... Uh... Whatchamacallit. Not not watery. <laughs> um this stuff could be watercolor though. I don't want to say condensed, that's not the word I'm looking for, but something like that. Oh, colored pencil. A little rare. Crayon? Hmm. Water. I wonder, does she have like a different art supply she uses for different people? Like a different, different, spoilers. Okay, um, let's continue reading on. Um, at first it seemed like it, yeah, right? Like it looks like Chloe's watercolor. Um, uh, Warren is colored pencil. Nathan is crayon. Uh, who's marker? There was a lot of marker. Well, it seemed like Chloe was something for a little bit, but like when she colors them. Oh, this is... Oh, wait, did she draw Kate like a little, like, angel? That, that's what that kind of looks like to me. That's kind of sweet. Um... The whale is... Oh, Kate. There's pencil there, Victoria. Um, yeah, it's not consistent enough. Um... Okay. I even ended up in some of Rachel Amber's clothes since mine were trashed. A band tee and ripped jeans. So not me. I, I, it's not not you. You know, it's not not you. <laughs> but I haven't found my style yet, so why not have some fun experimenting with a new outfit? Exactly, because I don't know. I think it's kind of you. <laughs> I mean, not completely, but I could see her wearing it. Like, it wasn't that strange. 
Speaking of experiments, Chloe dared me to kiss her. I would have, but I didn't feel like being dared like it was... But I didn't like being dared like it was some big deal. Maybe I am scared. Of what? I think I'm too young for marriage, and Chloe and I might kill each other. What? Wait, what? What? What is the... Being dared like it was some big deal. Maybe I am scared. Maybe I am scared. Of what? I think I'm too young for marriage. You, you don't have to marry her to kiss her. <laughs> and Chloe and I might kill each other. Yeah, well, you, you don't even need a relationship. Technically, like, just saying. <laughs> Besides, I think Chloe sees Rachel Amber in her future. Yes, yes, okay, okay. Yeah, that's it, that's it, that's, that's right. Max, you get it. You understand. You understand. She likes Rachel. You might like Chloe, but Chloe likes Rachel. So, good, good. I'm glad. We get it. We're all, we're on the same page. Wonderful. When I went down to breakfast, Joyce actually called me Rachel, which just seems so wrong considering how beautiful she is and how boring I am. I guess my new outfit really is working its magic. I ended up helping Joyce make breakfast just like when I was a kid on a sleepover. It's odd how quickly you can fall back into an old routine. So I must have set off Joyce's nostalgia mode since she busted out ye old photo album. I am one of the few people who loves checking out old pictures. What was it that Alfred hit? What was that Alfred Hitch Hitchcock line about film being pieces of time? Like Mr. Jefferson said, so are photographs. I do think she wanted me to see her new husband in a happy light. When David was happy or laughing with Joyce in a picture, I wanted to say, and who is that? Plus, I'm sure it's no accident that there was a photo of Rachel wearing the exact same clothes I had on. She truly is stunning, and somehow looked more punk rock than Chloe. The story's been suggesting that Max is the one that glorifies Rachel the most. Really? I don't know. Chloe... Max doesn't really seem to know... I mean, Max doesn't know anything about Rachel. Really. She's just kind of like... She's been like, who is this Rachel chick? Um, everyone keeps talking about Rachel. But, um... Chloe... Like, was clearly into Rachel. And she's really upset that either something happened to her or that Rachel left without her. But... She refused to believe Chloe's mom when she said... Chloe said she wanted to be like her. Um. Oh, yeah. Well. Chloe said she wanted to be like Max. Yeah, but like. That's, um. I don't think that's a recent thing. Um, I feel like that would have been from a long time before. Or. It's coming from the angle of, like... Well, I was gonna say Max is a good student, but she's not. Um, but that she, like, you know, doesn't get in trouble the way Chloe does. And Chloe wishes, like, you know, she could be, you know, the perfect daughter and whatever. Um, and, uh, but she, like, isn't like that. Um, is what I would take it. Chloe, do Chloe doesn't actually like Max. I'm, like pretty certain. So far, most of our hanging out with Chloe has been Chloe using our abilities, and when we first came back, Chloe didn't like us and was mad at us still, which is fair. But then as soon as she found out we saved her by rewinding time, then she completely did a 180, which I get that she's like, oh wow, you do care about me, you saved me. But also, like, I wouldn't necessarily immediately like someone just because they saved me. Um, because I feel like if most people would, it's like, just because we didn't let you get shot doesn't mean we actually care about you. Like it could have been honestly anyone and we probably would have done the same. Cause the thing is we didn't, we didn't even know it was Chloe. <laughs> Max didn't recognize Chloe, um, when she saved her. So like, we literally would have done that for anyone. Like it was just some blue haired girl in the bathroom and, uh, so, Chloe just kind of sees Max as, like, an asset. The first time doesn't change the fact that we saved her. Yeah. But I don't think Chloe, like... 
Um, because it doesn't change the fact that we, uh, ghosted Chloe after her dad died. <laughs> and she really needed a friend and was really going through stuff. And we were like, yeah, peace out. I moved. Uh, we're not friends anymore. Bye. <laughs> um, because Chloe was so mad about that. And as soon as she finds out we saved her, she's like, oh, never mind. Um... But all that says is we would save someone if we had the power to do so. So, like, Max is, like, not an awful person, but it doesn't show that Max actually cares about Chloe, which was the problem and why Chloe was mad at her, was because Max didn't care about Chloe. Um, and every time we're hanging out with Chloe, like, most of what Chloe wants is, oh, let's try out your power, let's do this, let's do that, let's sneak into the school and like use your power we're helping her with the Rachel situation and like sh and in my first playthrough I thought that she did like Max but that Max was just a replacement for Rachel um kind of like in the same way um so my first time through reading Harry Potter books I my favorite character had been Sirius like I thought he was really cool. I really liked that kind of, like, um, protective, supportive um, angle that, you know, Harry all of a sudden had. Um, but then reading through a second time, all of a sudden my favorite character was George. And um, I didn't like Sirius anymore. And the reason is because when he sees Harry, he sees James. Harry is just a stand-in for James. And, like, as much as I'd like to say that's not true... Like, in the fifth book, uh, when he gets knocked beyond the veil, it, he shouts James. Like, he sees James when he looks at Harry. Um, and Harry's just a replacement. Harry is just James come back and a fill-in. Um, and that's the type of thing that I kind of felt with um, Chloe and Max here. I feel like Max is just the replacement for Rachel in Chloe's life. Um, but playing through it again, and, and but I didn't really fully get that until, like, I think at this point in the story, I was still shipping Max and Chloe. Uh, and then after this point was where I slowly started to realize that, like, wait a minute. Yeah, actually, Chloe does, like, Rachel. Um, and Max is just a stand-in. And I was starting to think that from this point on. But, um... But this time through, I'm starting to realize that uh, I don't I don't think my interpretation isn't even that Max is a stand in for Rachel. Max is a tool that Chloe is using to try to get Rachel back is what I think's happened. Um, she sees that Max has this power and it's and I don't think that it was the Cl before I was kind of like, oh, well, Chloe kind of changed her. Um, true. Yeah, yeah. Uh, also, welcome in, um, Hengzen. Um, and, uh, the thing is with, with Chloe is that, like I said, the first time I had read it, that when Max, she finds out Max saved her, I was like, oh, wow, she real Max, she now thinks Max cares about her. Um, she realizes that, you know, she, she, she says like, oh, well, Max does care about me. It was, you know, she just wasn't in a good place after she moved. It's not like she doesn't care about me. That's not why she ghosted me. And I kind of took it as that. But looking at this time again, one, that's a very sudden change to all of a sudden completely flip-flop on like that. And um, it's really kind of clear she's more excited not to have Max back and that she's close with Max, but she immediately starts grilling Max about her power and saying, let's go experiment with it. Here, prove it to me. Let's test it out. Um, and, uh, I think, um, that, that was, that was the trigger. That's what actually changed it. Not the fact that Chloe, that, that, not the fact that Max saved her, but that, um, Max has this rewind power. And she got both of, Chloe heard both of those pieces of information at the same time. Max said, I was the one who saved your life with my rewind power. And then Chloe all of a sudden is like, Max, my new best friend. Um, and uh, yeah, I think it was the rewind power that caused her to flip. And she's just playing nice 
to use her to get Rachel back. Um, is my feeling currently. But, um, continue reading. Where am I here? The truly heartbreaking image was the last photo William Price ever took. Chloe and I making pancakes in the kitchen. Joyce really misses that joyful, optimistic girl. I know she's still there. When Chloe smiled at me this morning, I saw her. The picture seemed to sum up everything we had as children and lost as adults. Whatever being an adult means. Which was a perfect cue for Chloe to bounce into the room and start shit with Joyce. This gave me cruel cover so I could sneak into the garage and finally unlock David Madsen's extreme files. As long as... Logan famously said, Bish flipped. Bish flipped out. Yeah. Yeah. Um, she definitely did. She definitely did. Um, so today I finally found out what was in David's secret files, and I admit I expected it to be worse. I'm relieved that it wasn't, so maybe I'm going easier on him than I should. No surprise that he had detected files on Kate and Rachel listing their whereabouts, along with surveillance pics. David isn't off my shit list yet, but he's a damn good investigator, I'll give him that. It's clear that Frank and Rachel had some kind of relationship, and I don't think Chloe is going to be very happy to hear that. She needs to start waking up. We all do. When David came home, things escalated quickly. He looked more upset than usual, but shrugged when he saw me wearing Rachel's clothes. He was so on edge. Maybe I'll never get to see that, see the David that Joyce loves so much. She and Chloe really let him have it, though. This was the first time I saw them bond since we were kids. Suddenly, I couldn't take it anymore either, and I kind of blew up. It was like a torrent that felt awesome. I've been wanting to rip into David like that myself for a long time. You've only known him for a month. <laughs> and you did just yell at him like two days ago. What are you talking about? Uh, so for a long time. I figured worst case scenario, hello rewind power, but I wanted Joyce to know the depth of his weird paranoia. She looked so sad and angry when I told her about the photos of Rachel and Kate, not to mention the home surveillance. Joyce kicked his ass out of the house to Chloe's glee. Okay, so that was what happened last time. Let me put my cap on my, um, on my thermos here so I can drink some of my tea so that I don't lose my voice or anything. I'm gonna take a drink. Mm. Wonderful. Tea's not too hot. Okay. Um, back. Okay, so that's all of our new stuff for right now. Okay. Uh, what were we doing again? Getting something something? Hold on. Get Frank's key. Okay, we um, have to talk to him, I think. But we gotta look at stuff first. Good birds. This is so creepy. Yep. I think we already looked at these. Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. R.J. McReady? Hmm. McCready? McCready. I can pronounce names. Another bird. Tornadoes, snowfall, eclipses. Now My dying computer animals. feels a little. Holy shit. Why do controls feel weird? Okay, I can't look at that bird. I wanted to look at that bird. Oh, I can look at this bird. What is going on here? Hmm. <clears throat> gross. You never said gross. Or was that audio line? Um, anything else I can click on? I like clicking on things. Oh, license plates. I haven't read license plates in a while. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Ritz. I'm, I think maybe that's nothing. Um, FFC. Oh, okay. It's like the gross is not her line. It's Chloe's. Got it. Let's um look at Damn, Chloe. I hope she finds a nice tea bone to keep the doggy busy. Great. Okay. Um, uh, I think that's it. Fisherman. Hi. 
Good morning. How are the fish today? Don't ask. First the snow, then an eclipse. What's next? The tornado? <laughs> um, climate change. You don't think it could be like climate change or something? Maybe I'm it a is those windmills. No scientist. I know the sea is warming, but this is something new. Maybe worse. What do you mean, worse? If you knew what was going on with the fish around Arcadia Bay. Sorry, I'm just too salty to talk about it. See you around, kid. I get it. I get it. What, what it wants me to do. Good morning. How are the fish? Don't ask. Fish. I heard that something bad was happening to the fish in Arcadia Bay. Well, since you mentioned it first, <laughs> there ain't no fish in Arcadia Bay. <laughs> what? Come I on. I mean, there are always None? a lot of fish everywhere. None worth catching and eating anymore. See? I'm not shitting you. They do Salmon, have them. Just not the one they want. Salmon, bass have died and migrated. Even the damn clams are dying. Oh my god. Yeah, well. But what about... Sorry, just too salty to talk about it. See you around, kid. Can we rewind and try again? Probably not, because it has it didn't give me the little hint. Um, yes, we're open. Bacon and eggs only five ninety five. Okay, why did I think it said something different before? Well, I, I mm, maybe we're looking at something different. I don't know. Um, let's look at the newspaper. Sounds oh fishy. God, that is so <laughs> yep. embarrassing. I'm gonna get trolled hard. What this part down here? I mean, kind of. That's actually a weird article to publish. Like, a publish an article about someone's... I mean, I get it's a big deal and it's like people know about it, but it is kind of weird to post an article about um, an attempted suicide front page like that. Um, I, get, I, I think she's 18, but still. still. I mean, I know Max is. I, Kate. Oh, we looked at all the birthdays. Kate's birthday is is um um uh before now warren's is the only birthday that hasn't come for this year chloe is in march and warren is november 20th and then someone was june or july 22nd someone was july 20 no no other julys there was uh victoria's was august 14th and nate <laughs> was August 29th, I think. And Kate's, oh, maybe Kate's was early September, I think. Um, and then ours was, or maybe Kate's was a July. No, no, Rachel was a July one, I think. Maybe? Yeah. And then I think Kate's was in September too, just like Max. But Max's, I think, is September 21st. I remember. Look at that. So sad and disturbing and beautiful at once. What an amazing shot. <laughs> That's one way. She's a photographer, clearly. So ominous. Yeah. Like, the thing is, some of these are clearly bugs. But the rest, they're not bugs. Look, they're pixels. They're clearly pixels. This is clearly a glitch in the Matrix. With bugs crawling around it and a dead bird. It's clearly what's happening here. Let's look at our photo, our beautiful picture we took. There we go. That. Hmm. This license plate. Oh, I'm never gonna figure that out, whatever that is. Let's look at her first. I hate seeing old women on the street like that. <sighs> nice world. How old is she? You don't have to call her old like hey, that. She's not that old you? looking. I remember you. I heard about that girl almost jumping off the Blackwell roof. Yeah. <sighs> Rachel, why would we talk about Rachel right now? Um. I, okay, so I don't want to gossip about Kate clearly the bad idea 
we should say. Sad week. It's been a sad week at Blackwell. It's a sad world, Max. But you're so damn young. Oh, if I could go back and be your age again. I truly wish I could help you. You did the last time you talked to me. Now you look like you could do with help of your own. Just to find some answers. I'm probably a bigger snoop than you. People pretend to not see me. So I see everybody. And that everything. Makes sense. Ooh. Um, okay. Right now, we're trying to deal with Frank. But, um, my, okay, so the scariest person on this list... <laughs> And my biggest concern is Nathan, who is absolutely Including unhinged. Nathan Prescott? That spoiled shit just has a bad Although, what is she going to say? I don't say. think she's going to give any good information. He also drugs the girl who tried to jump. Sounds like you know a lot more than me, child. I just think Arcadia Bay is in trouble. Maybe you could like to tell me what you're hiding. Um... I think I want to tell her. I think you always tell the like creepy witch lady, right? I think so. And even if she's like, what is she gonna do? Go tell people? Like, no one's gonna believe her. Walter Walters in the back. That's kind of funny. Anyway, we're gonna tell the truth. Why not? I feel like I can trust you. As we didn't much tell as well. Warren, but <laughs> and you wouldn't think I'm <laughs> this crazy. woman is she a better friend to, to us anybody. than Warren, apparently. Well, you're not crazy. I'm just gonna say this. I had a vision of Arcadia Bay being destroyed by a tornado. For real. Could be. Bad mojo is in the air this week. Thanks for the warning, Max. Um, I don't think she would give us... Can we ask Thanks about a different... Thanks for that storm no. warning, Max. And, okay. uh, I'll let you know if I find out anything. I mean, we could ask her about Frank. We could go back rewind and ask about Frank, but I think it's fine. If, it, if they make us do it, then we will, but I'm kind of satisfied with how things are. Oh, we haven't talked to this trucker yet. Hello, sir. That would be cool stare at you for a bit. For a while. Always on the road. Hey, our shirts kind of match. Look at that. Hey, how's it going? Peach. How's it going? interview over we're not gonna say worst interview we don't oh, why would we be mean to this man who we were trying to talk to and he's like i don't want to talk and then we're like oh, that's rude bro doesn't owe us anything okay so we'll just having be a concerned you having a bad office? day work is bad dried day, up buddy? around here and i have bills to pay time is money to a guy like me that's time is money wish i could drive right out of arcadia bay whole town is crumbling Snow. Don't eclipse, you have a truck to do that a with? Slut trying to commit suicide. Maybe you should uh, leave then. What yeah. If I could, how dare even you? That shifty Rachel, what's her face? Asked me once if I drive her to Los Angeles. You knew Rachel Amber? Can you tell me about her? Nope. Christ, why don't you get a real job instead of homework? What I'd love to see you awful. black little turds try to drive my 1977 Needham 18 wheeler. Bro, we're there. a high school like student. I said, interview over who tells a high school student to stop stop studying and get a job <laughs> like excuse me dude okay we gotta rewind because we're gonna um i don't like you saying rewind instead of rewind putting the accent on a weird hey, place have... peachy Let's talk about his actually, truck and pretend we I actually know if anything. That's your bitch in 1977 Needham 18-wheeler out here. How the that's... hell did you know that? Oh, Rachel Amber. My friend Rachel I don't know Amber why. told me about that this was an impulse cool choice. Wig in town because I love taking pictures of truckers. <laughs> you knew Rachel. She sure didn't give a rat's ass about truckers or real work. Oh, so you must have known her too. Only from the diner. She was just a gold digger. She belonged in California with all those, you know, who know what. Good riddance. But Excuse me, you sir. You can take pictures of my truck anytime. Take Are care. you being homophobic? I feel like he's being homophobic, but I'm not sure exactly what <laughs> what insult he's going for. But I 
think that was homophobic. I'm pretty sure is where he's going with that. As a California resident, at first I was going to be a little bit frustrated with whatever he, insult he's gone through about California, but then I'm not gay, but that felt like felt like a homophobic comment. Sir, excuse me, sir, you have made so many insults to people and your bigotry and you need to leave leave this place, sir. Go now. Just like just like the Lord of the Rings quote with Gollum, what well, when Smeagol says to Gollum, leave now, or is it go now? Oh no, both sound correct to me. I think it's leave. Leave now and never come back. Go. Only one plaid, red and black plaid shirt wearer can be in these parts. And I guess it's you because Rachel's gone, but now I'm the new Rachel. Let's go. Good lord, Bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Never mind me, officer. I'm just here to steal a drug dealer's keys. That was Warren. So as usual, we're not going to answer Warren immediately. Because Max is a jerk. Dr. Hedera. Honestly, an eclipse isn't even weather. How did they manage? Why is the moon in a different place than it should be? This is like not even just like local glitches in the weather. This is that's just insane to move the moon or the earth, I guess. I'm assuming it was the moon though. Like that's that's really intense. <laughs> The poster doesn't mention whacked students with guns. Yeah, most most of the time they don't advertise that about schools, turns out. This is awful. Can we, like, do something about this? You should have jumped, asswipe. Can we, like, just... I mean, I know we can't probably... It's gonna be hard to, like, clean off. But can't we just, like, take a Sharpie and just, like, rub over it and, like... So you can't read it anymore? I think that'd be a great idea. The seventh sign. The sea and sky will turn black and living things die because of it. Okay. Shit. What are the other signs then? I don't know. Um. Oh, it's the deer. I don't think we looked at that last time and she has no inclination to look at it this time, which is weird because it feels like that would be something that she should, like, Care about, I think. You'd never know how weird this town is by these postcards. Hmm. That kitten one is kind of crazy, actually, I think. <laughs> Sounds kind of weird to me. I was like, what am I going to do? All right, I have a text from Warren. I got to look at. Hmm. That looks kind of good actually like right now i could go for that although those layers of cream are intense looking <laughs> i don't know actually maybe, maybe there's a little too much cream there new recipe 199 oh that's, that's that's these cupcakes over here um yeah i wanted the last time i think i wanted the um one with the white icing but um are these others the others i think are just muffins which i'm not really that into but I don't really feel like any donuts right now. Is that pound cake? Maybe I'll take some pound cake. Looks tasty, but my need for keys comes first. I don't know. We could have a little snacky snack first, I think. Would it hurt? <laughs> Forgot about the fishing wall of fame. Hmm. Who do we have here? White 
Sturgeon, caught by Dick Weber. Chinook Salmon, caught by Rich Conrad. Steelhead Trout, caught by Andy Berry. Cool. Can't drop any tunes right now. Keys. We can put on some key-getting music, you know? Lo-fi beats to acquire keys to. I'm sure they have. What, what jukebox doesn't have that, right? Oh gosh, I don't want to talk to him. Oh, good. We're Nathan not talking to him. Together? We're just looking. That's a bad combo. I don't think they're together. They're like on opposite sides of the of of the diner. So. Hmm. Oh. That will be fun to take a road trip to the drive-in with Warren. Max needs more fun. Will it be fun, Max? Surprised you're not complaining about it. <laughs> Looking for a lady friend to go with me call someone. Huh? Wouldn't it be wild if that was Warren who wrote that? <laughs> Warren cheating on us? I mean, not that we're together, but imagine. Imagine. A night of cartoons, trailers, and rampaging apes. Huh. I didn't realize it was a cartoon thing. I thought it was a live action. Like, like a 70s sci-fi. Yeah, though, okay. 1970s dystopia night. I don't... Okay. Whatever. Um, all right, let's let's read our text from Warren. Okay, it's officially sold out, but managed to get us both tickets. Had to fight a dozen bullies off for him. Freaking nerds. Okay. What a what a journey. Okay. Uh, let's talk to Frank now. Wait, wait, we gotta look first. I could chuck Imagine if we just walk up before even figuring Frank. anything out. We just like, Beer's first gross, thing we do is so... walk up to his table and spill his drink. Hey, Frank. 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 Hey
after a diner, maybe, but I don't really feel like it's a diner. But um, apparently, like Marie Callender's is a family diner, but I've never been to that. I just know them from, I just know Marie Callender from like the pies that are frozen. And you put them in your freezer and then you bake them to thaw them or something. I don't know. Um, okay, so anyway. So this is has has alcohol, which is interesting because again, usually usually the diners don't. Frank Bauer stars in How do we a spill his food? Beans. His beans. How do we spill his beans? Turn up the brain to eleven, Max. How can you snag Frank's keys? Ask. I know this won't work, but um, we'll we'll you know rewind. Hi, you have Frank. serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing up like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. What the fuck Maybe do you want? Maybe it does. Take a picture of me and I'll break your How do you know what's cool, camera. Frank? How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful how do you know in that? them and you look like ass. You're lucky Whoa. I just took that gun from you. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. Fair. In other words, we're Max, the creepy no ones keys. in this situation. Maybe I could chat up that officer, or even Nathan, and then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. Okay. Are you sure we don't just spill something on them? There she is, Super Maxine. That's your new nickname around the bay. Sorry, but you did earn it. We're all real proud of you for helping Kate down. Thanks, Officer Barry. Oh, I was just, it. I just forgot I wanted to do something. And right on time. I forgot. Spill, spill, Kate spill. Yeah, we should spill all of it. I'm glad you're representing Blackwell Academy. But, well, ooh, next. Wow, we have so many options. Nathan, uh. Uh, let's have a weird town. We'll just, we'll just sum it all up. A weird town? I'd take a normal city with normal yeah, problems. Yeah, as much as I want to now. spill stuff, I'm going to follow, like, the prompts, because I kind of forget what order you're supposed to do things in, so. Um. Uh. Yeah, I'm going to follow the prompts. She said talk to these guys, so I want to talk to these guys. But we're going to spill something eventually. Don't worry. Um. Let's talk about Kate. I guess Kate Marsh will be the face of Blackwell for a while. And you for helping her. Well, That's thank you the for the follow, uh, Lawrence. Thank of. you. Um, I missed it. What did he say? Oh, well. Uh, let's talk about David. I feel like David Madsen represents Blackwell. Not for long. He's a loose cannon. Well, thank you for following, too. You'll respect um, him for his service, but... Hangs in. He's too eager. All right. What would it pronounce? He's eager to be a dick to me and Chloe. That's true. He was ranting about a stolen gun, then I tuned out. Somebody's always out to get him. Try interrogating somebody um, else. Butchered it. <laughs> Sorry. Um, what am I supposed to do? Oh, rewind. There she is. Thanks, Officer Barry. I'm glad you're representing. Okay. Um, I guess talk about Nathan. I, I thought I haven't. Nathan Prescott represents. I had a streamer before well, that I watched. Don't make me like, wash this bacon. You know, know what the Prescott represents. Long time ago, like 2016. Taking over Arcadia Bay. Um, and uh, I heard he would Prescotts are working um, on some new big land deals. Specifically, intentionally mispronounce everyone's names just to be fair. So I made a deal with him. <laughs> oh, which was of. kind of funny. Man, if I could give everyone just like a new name that. Because, like, he was consistent, though. Like, he'd pronounce it wrong and then always pronounce it wrong. <laughs> but the same wrong. Um, so it was kind of kind of funny. Oh, what? Do I just have nothing to say to him now? Oh. Okay. I'm not really following. Let's talk to Nathan. I don't want to talk to Rachel. You. Uh, whatever the oh, fuck. Awkward. Uh, oh look. Why Max does everyone Amber. think we're Rachel? Rachel, just because we're wearing her clothes. Outfit? Does no one else wear that these clothes? We don't look like Rachel. Can you turn on your everyday hero Jefferson yesterday? 
Why is he such a creepy a kid? Diner with a police officer right over there. You shouldn't. Pretty common interaction bait. Prescott. No what is mis mispronouncing people's names? Fake it till you make um. It. At least you were smart no, he did. He did that. Um, principal's office. I'm talking about Ryan Day, by the way, Felicia Day's brother. <laughs> um, no, that was just. Um, uh, I think he just thought it was funny. And also, he was. He, he was. Uh, he was kind of doing it to make sure he wasn't. Um, uh, like he felt bad getting people's names wrong, so he just kind of like said whatever for everyone. So. Isn't just that as it is. So, um, maybe I haven't seen anyone anyone um do that. My, personally, but um, but yeah, yeah. He's the only Ryan Day's the only one I saw do that, and um, pretty sure it wasn't. Let's talk about Rachel and Frank. I bet Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own, more than me. I doubt that. Like you would know, virgin. Even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. I wonder if actually, I was just thinking, talking about Ryan Day reminded me. He and Felicia both had a thing where, I don't know if that's even still the case, because um, people, I've seen, I think people resub to Felicia's channel. But um, originally, they had it set up so that um, you'd get a lifetime sub. They like made a deal with Twitch. Where um, they wanted people to sub to their channel and it was a permanent sub. And all of the money, I think, went to the ASPCA. Um, and uh, and because they were had a direct setup for all the money going straight to charity, that's how they got Twitch to let them do the lifetime sub thing. So you only sub once um, to their channels. Um I don't know. I, I think on my other account, I think I still do have the like, I'm still sub to theirs, but um, I don't know about other people, which is the thing. I think every, I think current subs in more recent years need to be renewed because I can't imagine Twitch allowing that <laughs> to continue because it hurts the cut that they get too. If, if like, like, I haven't subbed to them since like, on my other account since like 2015 think of all that money that that i mean i probably wouldn't have been renewing my sub because i'm never on that account but still like just think about that probably for the amazon purchase yeah yeah but i'm pretty sure people who had those subs still have those subs like i'm pretty sure i still have them on my other account which is kind of cool but um but even then that was something they had to work out directly with twitch and it was uh it not i don't think it was easy for them to do but yeah i mean that was a couple years before the amazon purchase but um, but yeah, that was, that was interesting. Um, and I, like I said, I don't know, kind of unfortunate then for people who missed out on that. Cause like I said, I just have, have my sub. So, um, Holy shit. What do you can want we say now? anything else without him killing us? Let's talk about, uh, Let's talk about drugs for sale, just because I feel like talking about Kate or his father are going to be awful. Listen, Nathan, I'll take back everything I said about you. If you hook me up with Frank. Know what I mean? You look like you've never even taken a hit of baby aspirin. How do you think I stay wired all night studying? So is Do it you deal or study not? all night, Calm Max? Calm down, hard up. Deal. You have, You'll like, what, 2.8 GPA? Just go over to Frank and whisper, higher education. You'll hook your ass up. Oh, okay. All right. Um, is that what we're supposed to be doing now? I actually don't really even remember what's supposed oh, to be happening. Shit. What? Uh, let's talk about. I don't. I, I'm. He sounds really mad, and I'm really scared to talk about Kate while he's really mad because, like, if I bring up Kate, like, it's one thing if he's mad at us, but I, I don't want him to associate that anger with Kate. I mean, I know he already is mad about that, but I don't want to. You know, like. We'll talk about his father Your first. Sugar daddy will as always protect horrible you as this. And threaten me. You don't know shit that's about my father. Not what it, I don't me. Nobody think here does. That's then tell me what sugar I daddy. Know. I don't think is the word you're looking for, so Max. You I think you just mean dad. Hmm? Spoiler alert. He's an asshole. Maybe I could help you. I don't need you for anything except to stay out of my fucking business. Understand? Now get out of my face. Okay. 
talk to you again. Holy shit. All right, let's talk about Kate. Ugh, I don't want to. I bet you hoped that Kate Marsh would stay quiet. Idiot says what? Did you drug her? You are so stupid, Max. You think you're so goddamn smart, too. Don't push me, girl. You don't want me for an enemy, understand? Do you? Calm down, dude. We're in a diner. Right. Plus, you're an adult now. I can sue your dumbass for libel. What? Thanks. Now fuck off, Dyke. That you that's inappropriate. Stop being homophobic. Okay. Um I'm done talking to you. Hmm. There she is. Thanks, officer. Is there anything else to say with I'm him? Glad you I mean, I know I rewound, but I think I talked about everything. Oh, no, I didn't, because now I have more because of Talk to Nathan. Okay. Nathan said that Rachel Amber represents Blackwell with Frank Bowers. Bowers ain't no student anymore. Sadly, he does oh. represent one side of Arcadia Bay. How long has it been since he's been order, a okay? student? He man, that rabid mutt. I heard something about Frank Bowers hey, and his puppy. don't be mean to the dog. The boy does love his dog. Especially when the dog is your personal drooling bodyguard. Yeah, you couldn't good doggy. You trained that poor thing on blood. Gross. I wouldn't bet. Where did he get the pup? Frank used to bet on dog fights. No. To his credit, he had a revelation. He saved a bunch of the dogs. Oh, good. Kept one for himself. I knew I remembered there was a reason I liked Frank. Wouldn't let Chloe stay away, <laughs> right? What can I do for you, Max? Um. Well, I heard a rumor you were working for the Prescott family on the side. Jesus, doesn't this town ever shut up? I don't blame you for getting extra work. Look how I Look, feel that. Sometimes I check up base, on the Prescott was, family to make sure they're good. doing all right. Nathan included. That's... Keep this quiet, Max. Okay. I'm, like, barely paying attention. Okay, let's rewind. Maybe talk to him some more about something. No, rewind even more. There she is. Thanks, Up. I'm glad you represent. Anything new? Well, I... Jesus, I just... doesn't this... I don't blame... Look, sometimes... Is that what? What is the? Do I have something new to talk talk to Frank about? Holy shit! What himself. do you want now? Okay, I'm I heard your this dad hired a local cop to keep an eye out on you and Frank Bowers, like a babysitter. Bullshit! My dad doesn't hire; he owns, and these pigs know better than to knock on me. Do they? I hope that means Frank won't get busted. Eventually, he will. Guy's into some freaky shit. He told me once he took a weird blood oath for Rachel. Uh, forget I told you that. Seriously. Now get off my crack, whore. Keep your pie holes shut. Hmm. What can I do? Do I have to rewind? No, okay, I do. I don't know who I'm supposed to talk to now. Uh, cop? What can I do for you, man? Police do know about Frank's activities. Yeah. But. Holy sh. I guess they don't care. Weren't you supposed to keep your mouth shut about the blood oath Frank took for Rachel? Blood oath? Who? What the fuck? I never told anybody about that freaky shit. Besides, everybody knows Frank is a liar and a loser. Even Rachel did. Yet Rachel Amber hung out with him more than you. Ooh. So? Rachel wanted Frank's stash. She let him take pictures, then he carries around her photo like she posed for love. Dumbass. Mm. Alright, so now we rewind and talk to someone. Holy sh- Or him? No. Uh, cop? Or are we going to Frank now? What can I do for you, man? No. Um, or do I do a little bit more? There's like so many little moments to skip past. Holy sh! No, oh, okay. Still blood oath. 
What can I do for you? I guess I talked to Frank. Hey, Frank. What the fuck now? Um, I want to talk about you saving the dogs, because that's really nice. You act so scary, but you did save all those dogs. One, I'm not acting. Two, who told you about the dogs? It's actually a great story. You're an animal lover. Okay. Could I pet the doggy? I could go grab him from your RV right now. <laughs> I won't even let you pick up the dog shit. Besides, you don't want a leash. You want these keys right here. No, Look I want to pet the doggy. <laughs> You're worse than a junkie. But I'm worried that if you just give me the keys, he'll bite no me. So can you me. take me out and like actually tell him I'm good and then let me pet the doggy pretty pretty please? What if we just take? We can rewind. I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. You did not just do that. Give I me did. back my keys, bitch. What are you gonna do Give about me my it? Keys now. Make me rewind. That's what you're gonna do about it. I see. Uh. Okay. Uh, key brought. Okay. Now back to Chloe. What? I have the key? Oh. I wasn't paying enough attention. I'm not done talking My to Frank, though. Is done here, Frank. No, I wanted to say the other things. We had more information. My work here is no, done well, here. No, I'm not. I, I don't, well, at least we talked about the dogs. That was the most important thing. I was trying, but it wasn't really letting me rewind very far. So, I mean, I guess we, I guess we can give it. Well, um. Oh no. Never mind. Victoria. I thought you might be ready for the Vortex Club, but after the shit you pulled with Jefferson, no fucking way. You're such an emo queen that you didn't even- that you didn't want anybody going with him to San Francisco. You're even too much of a pussy to enter the cliché selfies in one dumb contest. It's all about Max. Even going to the roof was about showing off, not about saving Kate. I'm not going to- I'm- ugh. I'm going to make sure nobody at Blackwell is fooled by your woe is Max act. Get ready. Okay. Oh, wait, we're not reading these right now. Okay. It forced it the first time, and now all the scenes would be missed. Messed if the keys were missing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean... Yeah. But I have nothing I can do. Let's talk to Alyssa. How are you doing, Alyssa? Um... I feel like things weren't so great for her last I'd time we checked in, but... Max, but I'm drowning in puddle scum. Huh? What, do, what is... Okay. Let's look at the door Careful, first. Max. Cujo ahead. Nice look at Chloe. Snack, Chloe. Okay. I should have known. The amazing Spider Max. I couldn't have done it without Frank. Now let's get in and out. Okay. You'll need this, Max. Just... On yeah. your mark, get set. Throw! Uh, throw towards a parking lot. We're not gonna throw it into the road. Get the treat, treat. He can run into the road. I think we just made that dog our bitch. He get run over. Get it? Now we can snoop in peace. But let's not waste time. I think the we're wasting time. We're just now, kind of standing here. He might come back. Hmm. Damn. I thought my room was a shithole. You're not a creepy drug dealer. Frank has issues, but he's not creepy. At least I didn't think so until I saw him with <laughs> Rachel's bracelet. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. 
Can you see us heading down the coast of Big Sur and beyond? Yes, we'd be tearing up the highway. And you dare me to drive it like you dared me to kiss you? Chloe, where are you bringing that up? That's so Rachel. awkward. Breaking strange, yeah. I don't know. Just yeah. Daydreaming. Okay. Can I start clicking on things? Oh, yeah, okay, great. Great. You scope the area while I hack his computer for info. Uh, okay, hacker Chloe. I can't quite picture Frank and Chloe drinking beer and hanging out. I can. Well, why can't you? Frank must have a reason to keep a police radar nearby. He's a drug dealer? That would be so cool to take this baby on the road with Chloe. I guess. Uh, Chloe really won't do that with Rachel, though, so... I think the doggy likes his bone more. Crappy wife. Yeah, well, this probably has better nutrition duck. for him, okay? Pompidou? Oh. <laughs> for reals? That's a poodle's name. That can be anyone's name, Max. Stop being so judgmental. I doubt Frank is trying out for the Arcadia Bay Brewers. Maybe he is. What do you know? Also, it's probably a weapon. The archetypal filthy guy dishes. Yeah, well. Good to know Frank has a knife lying around. That's a really big knife to cut a pizza that he ordered. Whoa, like, I get they don't usually off. cut <sighs> Stop it. all the way through the pizza, you know, sometimes. But it's kind of intense. I don't think it's a little overkill. Of course Frank gets the munchies. I mean, really everyone likes to nice rig. munch on snacks. Glad Frank yeah. treats something here with respect. Frank must spend all his drug money on baggies. <sighs> recycle, dude. Yeah, recycle. Are these for Frank or is he selling them? Or both? Is it really graffiti if it's in your own home? Just too bad I don't have my Frank Bowers decoder ring. Hmm. I feel entertained. No shit. Okay. Recycle drug okay, baggies. This vent is loose. Oh yeah, I didn't I even pay attention. Right open. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Ooh, Frank's stash. But oh well, never mind. That was very kind of Max, weird. you didn't tell me you took photos of Frank in action. I'm seriously ignoring you. Did I take photos of Frank in action? <laughs> I don't remember. That's almost cute to see Frank posing with his dog. Aw. It is cute. I could pry this vent open with the right tool. Okay. No more secrets. Mm. Weird shot for some reason. Kind of weird, like, angle. Is Frank we'll going to deal online? Get into now? all of a sudden. Maybe. Dark web be booming. That's a pretty extreme lighter. Well. Hmm. So I was looking at things on the wall. Nothing really that interesting, to be honest. Uh. I think we looked at this all this stuff. This is almost as good as a set Wait, of did I see something about celery? No. This is this. Macarons, though. That's pretty nice. Fish fingers. Whoa. Fish fingers? Why? That doesn't sound good. I don't like it. Also, it's kind of weird that, like, the only place you can really get macarons is, um, at, uh, bubble tea places. <laughs> you know? Just, just pointing that out. Bacon, beer, soda, spaghetti, bag, jet. Was that the same bag? 
Hmm. Ultra death. Speakers kind of strapped in. There has to be some part. evidence linking Frank and Rachel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're... Hold on. My blade will open any portal. <clears throat> oh, man. Rachel and Frank's dog. Uh huh. Pompadour. I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed. Frankie B. Hope you read this first thing in the morning. Sorry about last night. I was being a monstrous bitch and took it out on you. And poor Pompadou. There's a lot of weird shit going on in my life, and sometimes I feel like I'm never going to get out of Arcadia Bay. Thank God for you. You're one of the best things I have here, and I smile when I think about us together. Let's just drive out of here forever. Love you always. Heart, Rachel Amber. Ooh, okay. I'm glad Rachel got to drive this beast. She looks genuinely happy. Rachel really did hang out with Frank. Mm -mm. I'm learning more about Rachel than I want to know. Mm -mm. Hmm. Trouble in paradise. Frank, that was not cool what you did. And don't blame the drugs. You actually scared me, and I thought you'd never chill out. I've never seen you act like that Act that way. And the next time will be the last. I'm a Leo, and we don't look back. I care about you. Us. So maybe we need to break our routine. All right. Okay. So, she was the <laughs> she was the July twenty second birthday that I was remembering, as I remember specifically Victoria was August fourteenth. So, so she's definitely July twenty second. Mm -hmm. She is a Leo. I know that. I paid attention. Uh, can I not look at this other vent? Cool. It's fine. Didn't want to look at that vent anyway. Just look Chloe at Chloe for a bit. Scared. She's loving this. Yeah, she is. It makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years, my mother gloms on a stepfucker, now Rachel betrays me. Chloe, Rachel is missing. Nobody betrayed you. Bullshit! Who hasn't? Fuck everybody! Chloe! Oh. We're driving a little crazy out there. Chloe. You can't keep blaming me and everybody knows. for oh, everything absolutely. wrong in your life. It's so not fair. I gotta blame somebody, otherwise it's all my fault. Fuck that. Um. Uh, we'll say it's nobody's fault. Cause well, uh, what does Rachel and Frank mean? Are we saying it's their fault? Because I don't really—that's uh, not necessarily the case. But I, and I'm definitely not gonna tell her grow up. <laughs> Um, so nobody's, nobody's fault, it's I guess. It's just life. Shit happens. It's nobody's fault. Blah, 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 as Mr. Jefferson would say. Why do we and, keep and talking Kate about Mr. Marsh. Jefferson? I don't yes, like him. Kate Marsh almost killed herself. Such sad, okay? Why are we talking that about Kate? Why did I bring her up? up life. Get it? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? William? Because, like, you don't see David as your dad. William? You blame William? Really? Yes, I do. Damn right. He chose to go out that door and leave me forever. Chloe, your dad he died. Didn't choose to leave you. I like, know It just that, happens. Max. There's not always an intent. Yeah. My That's kind of my philosophy with Warren, herself. right? <laughs> just because she wanted a ride home from work. Sometimes, even I blame her. No, you don't. 
Yes, Max, I do. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? And he never does? No, of course not. But I was with you that day. It was just a terrible accident. I wish that made me feel better. But ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Um, we're gonna say I can tell, because I think she needs someone to, like, you know, we, we need to sympathize her. We need to reach out to her. Um, right? Like, if we just say, you're still here, like, I don't want to be the antagonist in this conversation right now. Um, so we're gonna say I can tell. I can tell. But look at everything that's happened the past week. Your life has changed mine, and that's also, not shit. Yeah. I'd really love to believe that. I'd like to believe in something after what's happened. Chloe, I can't do this out on my own. I need you with me. And Rachel needs you. Where did we get that picture? Did we steal that from somewhere? <laughs> oh my god. Whoa. <laughs> what is happening now? Uh, hallucinations? Use AD keys left mouth button until you find a sweet spot. Okay, I don't understand. Oh, this is a weird mini game. <laughs> okay. Someday dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. Max, tell him. Whoa, hey. You look totally Wait, pale. Wait, is this a photo we Are kept okay? from then? For yeah. some reason I thought we found it in I Chloe's just, room, but... Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Okay, Chloe. Give me the thumbs up or thumbs down. Well, I might just allow this one into the family album. <gasps> You're the boss. What is this? But not the cook? William is here. Yes, and we can't Chloe is just a kid. And serve us slackers. Am I that well, far back in time? You mean pancakes? In France, they call them I'm 18 years I old inside my 13 year old That's not the same thing as pancakes. They're different. We. Oui. I volunteer to break the eggs. Do you remember how many eggs? Mom said it depends. That's true. So yeah, but how many? I'm curious. Don't yeah. you dare question the chef. How many? How many eggs? Like you're the real cook here? Give us the recipe. I am when your mom is away. I'll let her know that. I love William like he was in my own family. I won't let him die today. I won't. <laughs> Chloe is just so Chloe is so different. And carefree. Uh oh. And this is the last time unless I change it. Well, you can't change Joyce this. Loves I'm sorry. William so much. Good luck, Cuppy. We're so proud of your promotion. You get a week of two whales waffles in your own house. Loving wifey. Okay. Hello. Oof. Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two whales. Man, I remember Chloe reading this, but not after today. Yeah, because you moved. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Oof, hate that glare. Love you. 
I have to stop William from taking his car Excuse today. Ladies, I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She don't no, have don't. many bags of delicious grub for us to feast on. You are upon. ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where am, am I? Am I supposed keys? to rewind? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. What a mess we made. I remember those cool drawings I did with Chloe. Aha! You can't. Do you remember how? I want to look eggs? at this first. Oh, yeah. I miss I have some time. here. Cookies and popcorn. So, how many eggs? Don't you dare question the chef. Right. Like you're the real cook here? Huh? I am. When your mom is away. Why can't I get the keys? I'll let her know that. I know they never took that big vacation. Can I make it hurry up and go faster? Did I not wait long enough? No, I, I had to have waited long enough because it prompted me to... Can I not... Hello? Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the Two Whales. What? Well, I don't understand. You, know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She don't have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast upon. You are upon. ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? Did everyone too That's soon? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, cough, cough. Okay, I guess we'll wait for it to... I mean, obviously, I'm not going to be able to change things. Aha! You can't hide from me forever. Now lock up after I leave. Play nice. Try not to destroy too much of the house. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad! Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, Anything that is surprise too. isn't good. She's never leaving me. This that is my culinary opinion. I have to try. Oh, I have okay. to. Now I can rewind. I, I did. I did try. Power to save Max, William. weren't you paying any attention? No, that's not what we're doing. Hide from me forever. Oh. Hello. There we go. Now I can grab hey, him. Honey. Score. Just ahead of the game. Breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two whales. What? Why can't I just hold on to them? I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. It's not like he's gonna Love search you. me or anything. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She don't have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast you upon. You are ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Shit, what, what are, are we keys? wearing? Another dollar for the swear jar. You're bankrupting me. No, oh, hydrate. Yep. Thank you for the redeem. Good idea. Always can drink more. More tea. I knew this thing would come in handy. How the hell did my keys end up here? And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad. Don't blow it because. Skip. I don't care. I have to try. I have to. I, I was put here to do use it this again. power to uh, save Max, William. don't you understand time travel? Did you not know watch any of the things? Okay. What? Am I supposed to hide it somewhere else? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course, I'll come pick you up. There now we go. An excuse to get a mocha. He'll never look Either inside the cookies. Love you. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She don't have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast you are upon. Ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar mm -hmm. for You'll the never find them. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. 
for time travel to break so many rules of time travel. I mean, that is true. That is true. Shit, where yeah. are those keys? So, but this Another feels like an egregious breaking of me. the rules. And also a classic one, you know? I knew this thing would come in handy. How the hell did my keys end up here? And no How many times do we have to do this before she realizes that it's that 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 he can just try. search for them? I have to. Max. I was put here to use this power to save William. For Chloe. This isn't gonna work unless we throw them outside. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Crap. Either short. I need to hide the keys where William won't hear his dumb beeper. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen Ooh, at the safe. Excuse mart. me, you she won't. don't have many bags of delicious. Oh wow, they're just skipping it for us. Great. I know I had those keys right here. I know it. Mm -hmm. Forgot all about you, little buddy. Release the keys. Of course. Last time I ordered from Spy Guy Electronics. You can take the bus, right? The stop is right down the street. Hi, guy, huh? Is that Joyce's thing? Yes, I can do. Does Good she like call, people Max. who spy? Oh, yeah, the bus is great. <laughs> it comes every 15 minutes, and there'll be plenty of room for you and, and Joyce and groceries, and and it'll save the environment. Why are you being weird? You sold me already. I'm off to yonder bus stop. Ugh, Joyce will love this. He's going to die still anyway, because I know how time travel works. The Max, whole bus will get so in an accident. Fucking strange. Or he's gonna okay? get hit by a car Chloe, or something. I am awesome. We are awesome. Must time travel more fate. Yeah, yeah. I actually kind of hate this. We could go back in time into the time of the photograph magic power escalation. I know it's not like a deus ex machina thing, but it feels like a weird jump from what we've set as the expectation for the game. <laughs> like, I'm feeling very removed. Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? Jump scare. Max. But Never like vaccine. So that's why she was so much. I know. Sorry, Mad Max. <laughs> You're not pissed at me, right? <sighs> right? I hate the these. Do you want to go hit the girls' potty and smoke them peace pipe? But like, I think Max is alternative hot. future. She's acting like so weird. You cool, Max? Nobody yeah, listened to me. Yeah, Taylor, we're fine. In the vortex. Courtney, you don't want anybody in the club. Like whatever, bitch. Warren. He hooked up with Stella? Stella, huh? Oh no. Sucks this for Brooke. Totally <laughs> fucked up. What else have I changed? Chloe. Wait. Bro, like, be happy for Warren, okay? Like, you're like, oh no, he doesn't like me anymore. But he's happy. So. That's fine. Whatever. If we can go back in time again and change it back. That'd be great. <laughs> I don't like this future. But good for Warren, though. You know, this is good for him. We love that for him. But I guess we don't know that even, like, Warren and Stella are even, like, the same people. You know, because, like, Max is a different sort of person. <laughs> BFF of Victoria sounds like a nightmare. 
I mean, maybe she's not that bad. Like, either Max is a completely different person and Victoria is the same, but it's probably more likely that everyone's a little different. Oh, but maybe we should redo it for Brooke because, you know... Well, maybe this Brooke doesn't like Warren, so maybe that's fine. I don't know. Who really knows? Maybe Victoria is actually nice and we're the, like, biggest bitch in town, you know? Maybe, maybe that. Like, you, I hate that they just kind of show you what the situation is, rather than explaining to you how the situation came to be. Like, how did we get here, right? How did we get to this point? That's what I want to know. Forty-four. Don't know <laughs> what to do with that information. Max Caulfield. William, Taking hi. a break after taking Seattle by storm, huh? Mm. We thought we'd never see you again Storms, after you yeah. left for the big city. No. I'd never do that to Chloe. Speaking of, I know she's been dying to see you. Hold on. Chloe! You have a visitor! See what you did by breaking the very obvious rules of time travel that you would know if you ever listened to Warren for half a second? Just, just saying. Just saying. Okay, so that is episode, uh, episode three. For some reason, this episode feels like it was longer than the other two. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe I just played slower. <laughs> Yeah, I remember kind of not liking this part. She seems happier mentally, at least. You know what? That's true, actually. That's true. She kind of does. But maybe she was just happy to see us. But I guess she's not mad at us. Like, the last time we left and never got in touch with her again, um, she was mad when we came back. But now she's just happy. But maybe that's sadder, because that kind of means she's in, like, a worse place. An abusive household, yeah. I mean, that's... I... Yeah, I guess. Like... Really, the reason that she acted out so much... Well, because I don't think David would have been mean to her if, like, she wasn't acting out quite as much. And I don't... She wouldn't have acted out if she didn't feel like she was losing people. Um... But... Where was I going with that? Um... Yeah, but for her to be happy when Max gets back, it's almost kind of feels like her situation's almost worse, right? Because before she at least had, she was in a position where she could still bring up anger against Max, which is rightfully so. But in this reality, if Max went to Seattle and left Chloe after she's handicapped and like wheelchair bound and, and just is like, I'm not going to talk to you anymore. Um, like... That's also bad. And Chloe's not mad at her for that. She's just happy to see Max again. Um, she'll take what she can get, which means she must not have a lot right now, right? Like, she doesn't have much hope. I feel like you need some hope to be mad about things. Um, doesn't mean that Alt-Max still never got in touch with her after going- Yeah, I think so, I think so. It would change the entire foundation of her character, not losing her father. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, yeah, because Chloe was so different. Like, in the scene that we see her making breakfast with, breakfast with William, like, she just feels like a completely different person. Um, so yeah, I guess she'd still kind of be that person. So, like, maybe she wouldn't be mad at Max because she's not used to being mad in general. Um, 
like her response to losing her dad and then feeling like she's losing everyone else was anger but her response and then she kind of got um used to that being her not coping mechanism but her response to um bad things in her life the response she was kind of trained to have is anger but um after her accident like she she wasn't angry about that which makes sense i mean some people do get angry um but you know not everyone maybe she was thankful because that's you know again a really a case a lot of people have right because she survived right and so she might have been thankful that she survived and that's the trained reaction she has so when she sees max back instead of being angry she's thankful um that max is back at all we've been sure she went full no contact in this timeline I think so, because the way William said we never expected to see you again um, kind of implied that I, I, I took it to mean that he knew that she was back from Seattle um, and that she was going to Blackwell and that um, he just had never assumed that she would visit Chloe again. But maybe that maybe they just didn't know um, that she was back, but it kind of seemed like she went no contact. Um, and because I feel like if she had been in contact, Chloe would have known that Max was back. Hard to tell, needs lots of information, yeah. But I think, I think if she was in touch with Chloe, she would have told Chloe, hey, I'm going to Blackwell now, I'm coming back to Arcadia Bay, and, um, Chloe would have mentioned it to her dad, right? And then her dad would, would have expected Max to at least stop by at some point in time. Um, so I, I, it feels like it was still no contact, and especially because Max herself changed a lot, but... See, I don't know why Max is so different. That's what's kind of interesting. That William's death kind of pushed Max to the hipster route. I don't know, because she was gone from Arcadia Bay. Like, I can see how, like, Warren might change, or Stella might change, and, and you know, Brooke might change, all, and Victoria might change. All these other people might change, um, you know, because they're all, like, there and interacting with each other. But Max went no contact. Um, so, and it affected her, but... I guess it pushed her in the hipster direction, I assume. Maybe the photography thing. We'll be happy to see you. Or the... She didn't... Dad say she was looking forward to seeing her. Yeah, it was... Um, It was like... I think it was she'll be happy to see you. Um, so I think... Uh, he just do that. Chloe missed Max. Um, is Was my take. And he's like, Oh, Chloe, look! Who's here again after so many years your fellow pirate buddy um but uh um yeah but it is interesting that well see because i was gonna th say like max went the hipster route right um and it must have been because of her response to losing william and i kind of thought it would be photography kind of you know clicked in with that um she getting into photography more because you know losing someone and realizing that the photographs can preserve that memory um but uh if she wasn't in a photog photography would she have ended up at blackwell because she came to blackwell specifically for mark jefferson so I mean, maybe she came back for something else, like science. Maybe maybe she's the science nerd now, and Warren is a photographer. Who knows? <laughs> um, so maybe she came back for that, but... Um, okay, let's see. Here's our percentages. Um, we left the money, 52%. 48% stole the handicap fund? What? I mean, it might not have actually been for handicap people, but maybe. Oh, wait, that's kind of ironic that Chloe wanted to steal the handicap fund. Um, and then in the other timeline, she she's handicapped herself. That's crazy. Um, we didn't kiss Chloe. Most people kissed Chloe. 78% took their opportunity when they saw it. Um, we sided with Chloe, which, oh, it's, I can see. Okay, okay. Clearly, I'm the odd one here. I must be like a minimal point zero 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 one percent because... Um, yeah, 48% stole the money. It's crazy. Um, but, uh, um, but yeah, clearly people like Chloe and the people who like Chloe sided with Chloe and the people who don't like Chloe sided with David. Maybe that's what happened. 
Um, because I can't imagine who okay, because I, you know, like didn't kiss Chloe. I'm this 22%, but then I became I was not this 22%, which kind of implies again, I mean, there's a lot of people, so we're talking like I'm like 0.0001% of these numbers. But like this this doesn't play that there are people who like the me flip side who kissed Chloe and then sided with David. <laughs> Why are you going to kiss her and then and then side with David? I don't know what happens after they kiss her. I'm actually kind of surprised. Does that kiss actually happen? I do not remember it from the last time I played. So maybe I didn't kiss her the last time either. I honestly don't remember. Um, I kind of feel like it doesn't. Like you go in for a kiss and she's like, whoa, 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 wait. You know, like I feel like she stops it, right? Like, because I just can't. It feels weird. I it feels like that's a plot point that needs to like be consistent is that like we don't actually kiss um but uh so i don't know maybe 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 chloe turns her down and then people flip flop sides and we're like we're gonna side with david now that chloe rejected us maybe maybe that's it i don't know though it's really interesting that these numbers look like this though i think um it's very interesting uh, we kept Frank's doll from harm, 95%. 5% of people made the dog run in the road. These, maybe they just didn't know. Maybe they didn't think. Must be completionist. Yeah, that could be it too. That could be it too. Or maybe like they said, maybe they just weren't thinking. They were like, throw in the road, throw in the parking lot. They're like, oh, throw it in the road because I'm in the parking lot right now. So we'll throw it in the road. <sighs> maybe people are just stupid. And that's okay. People are allowed to be, allowed to be dumb sometimes. It's a, it's a shame that it hurts dogs though, but you know, that's, I suppose that happens. Okay. Uh, Chloe has David's gun or Frank has David gun and for us frank has david's gun oh was there a way for us to get that from the trailer or is this like there's no way this is referencing from our thing previously so we could have gotten the gun back oh well whoops honestly though i'm fine with chloe not having the gun i that girl's a wild card and i don't think i want her having the gun Frank can have the gun. I trust Frank way more with the gun than Chloe. Let's be real. Fictional dogs, but yeah. Well, still, you know, fictional dogs are a gateway dog. Okay. Um, next. Lisa is alive. Our plant. Yes. Oh, because we didn't we didn't overwater her. Um, I don't know if you water it both days if if the plant dies, but um we only watered it the first first episode that's a stretch no it's true it's true um we didn't help warren with his exam oh right so 28 percent of the people changed warren's grade that's that, if you, like you're gonna get him in trouble i'm assuming it's changing his a minus to an a plus and that's like you're gonna get him in trouble and he doesn't need an a plus he's already a great student he's he's got a what 3.9 gpa He's fine. He's fine. An A minus, that's not going to hurt his GPA. He'll be fine. That's just one test. There are other assignments. You didn't need to help him with the help. That, that's why would people do that? We're not on the Vortex Club party list. That's fine. We had a couple opportunities. We could have asked to be put on it initially. We could have added ourselves to the list, but we did not because I don't want to go to the party. We did erase some people though. 80% of people didn't. Wow. Okay. So more people added our name to the list. And then didn't erase any. I erased some and didn't add ours. Interesting. 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 Uh, we didn't erase the cop's message. Oh, I didn't listen to them again. Um, because I felt that was really awkward with Joyce um, cooking in the kitchen. If I go over and just listen to the messages on their answering machine, like she can hear that. And that's really awkward. So I didn't erase the cop's message. Um, but that was, um, I didn't even listen to it is why. But I, I don't think I would have anyway. I don't think I would have anyway. Because she's just going to find out anyway. It's not like it, we can hide things from her. Um, 
Let's see. We help Alyssa or we didn't help Alyssa. What? We could help Alyssa? I, she, I didn't know. I didn't know. I talked to her. She said she couldn't. Oh, I was supposed to rewind. I forgot that keeps happening with Alyssa. Oh, no. Just like the time she was going to get hit by the football and the time she got hit with the toilet paper roll. Oh, no. I completely forgot. Oh, I know she was like, oh, I'm covered in sewage. And I was like, is there a puddle around? Did you get splashed? I forgot. I should have rewound. Man. Oh, I feel like I, I feel like I, I someone else out there is like, oh my gosh, I can't believe 37% of people didn't help Alyssa. Oh no, I'm one of the 37. I warned the homeless woman. Okay. See, a lot of people didn't warn the homeless woman. That's rude. You gotta be nice to the homeless people um actually i just avoid all the homeless people la has a lot of homeless people and i kind of just avoid them because some of them are kind of scary but this homeless lady's nice and um we warned her we we're already talking to her anyway and she seemed fine so but maybe a lot of people didn't talk to her like i said that's that's honestly fair uh we didn't take a photo in the past oh oh that was the photo opportunity well, i looked at them and it didn't say maybe i wasn't standing in the right place Huh. Okay, oh, the camera. I didn't grab the camera. I went back to get, grab the camera after. Well, but and I couldn't grab the camera because William Hart already left to answer the phone. That's why. Okay, I didn't take that photo. Oops. Well, that's fine. Um, we didn't leave a mark on the fireplace. Yeah. Could we? It's weird. Why would we do that? Hmm. Okay. Okay previews we specifically did not put our name on this list specifically made sure we weren't going to the vortex club party potential be a gateway but anyone who can be influenced in reality by fictional world uh, for the dogs yeah but you know you know No, we we don't you don't you don't you don't do that. I don't care. Even fictionally, you don't you don't hurt the dog. I don't abide by that in these parts. <laughs> okay. Um I think I'm gonna call it there for today. It's actually not that hot right now, but I don't know how much longer it'll be um before it gets really hot. And this is like a pretty good stopping point so i think this will be it most of my streams have been a lot longer though before um i was streaming for this amount of time like all the time like a little over two hours um so you know now i'm doing three a lot um almost four so i think i think this is we'll do you know our two hour length stream um or just for today. And then Saturday I want to do a longer... No, why isn't my mouse working? Come on. Gotta go confirm. Yes, okay. <sighs> this game is so janky sometimes. Um, okay. Um, so yeah, so I'll be back on Saturday for um, scary games. I don't know what I'm going to play yet. I'll figure it out on Saturday and see what I actually feel like. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. It, it'll be some sort of horror game, scary game, creepy game, something along those lines. Uh, it'll be five o'clock Pacific, most likely. Um, if that changes, I'll post on Twitter. Uh, and um, hmm. Yeah, otherwise follow me on other socials um twitter and tiktok uh where i'm at mostly i know i keep saying i'm gonna post more vods onto youtube and then i don't um i was gonna do it yesterday but i think because since like you know new apartment new rhythms right uh new um kind of like patterns that are comfortable and i think my new pattern is uh wednesday is a good break day for me uh i keep wanting to do stuff on Wednesdays and then I never do because I kind of come home start relaxing and then like that just feels 
like I usually need it on Wednesdays for some reason. I just need to keep relaxing all evening. Um, but uh, I, if last week is to judge, I think I felt pretty good for Friday. So maybe I'll finally be productive and get stuff up um, on YouTube tomorrow. Who knows? Who knows? Um, but uh, but yeah, but Saturday I'll be back streaming here. And uh, like I said, scary games is the plan um, for Saturday, whatever the scary games are. Sunday is the next Life is Strange stream, five o'clock again, Pacific. And um, you really enjoy the stream? Yeah, thanks. Thanks for um, stopping by. And thanks to everyone um, for following, for um, hanging out and chatting or lurking or whatever, just, you know, hanging around. I appreciate it. Um, I really like playing this game. And one of the reasons why I like playing um, Life is Strange in particular, but games like this is because it's fun to play through, but it's really fun to like chat about stuff with, uh, with chat. So, um, yeah. So thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks for keeping me company and like, you know, chatting with me about the game, making it more fun. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so that's it for today. First, uh, no, um, this is my second playthrough. I played it before in like 2017 or something like this. Um, I think so, or something like that. Um, uh, when I used to stream before this, I had an account where I streamed face cam and I did, I did play it on stream, um, played the first game all the way through half of before the storm. And I think just the first episode of life is strange too. Um, but that I was playing it as it was coming out. And then I played the first episode, the second, I think it was the second wasn't out yet. Maybe the second was, and it was between the second and the third I stopped. I don't know. Um, but I got to the point, um, where, you know, there were no new episodes. And so then I stopped and then I never got back into it. Um, but yeah, but I'm trying to play through all of them before the new game. I'm not sure I'll get through all of them by then, but, you know, maybe. So it's a goal. It's a goal. Um, so I'll be back Sunday to play some more. Um, and uh, yeah, Scary Game Saturday, more of this, more of this on Sunday. Um, and yeah, it's, it's been enough time since I don't remember. I don't remember a lot or a lot of the details. Like, I remember some scenes really well. I remember some characters really well. Some I just remember my, like, general impression of the character. Uh, I don't really remember um, a, a whole lot of the details, though. So um, honestly, going through it again after like taking a huge gap between playthroughs is really, really interesting because I am noticing different things this time. Um, I guess I must be in a different place mentally that um, like my interpretations and, and perspective on the game are different than they were the first time. So yeah, so it's kind of it's kind of cool to to kind of redo it. Um, with enough time to kind of forget a little bit and and um, not, you know, come at it fresh, but fresher at least. But yeah. Anyway, um, thanks everyone for for hanging out and I'll be back in a couple of days. Like I said, TikTok and Twitter, maybe YouTube in the meantime, if you want to see more stuff. So um, yeah, but for now then, goodbye. Hopefully you have a good night and a good couple of days um, or whenever I see you again. So good night. Goodbye. <laughs>